It is so hot. Oh my god, it's literally sweating in our tent right now and it's 9.25 in New York. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. New York has been very hot. Also, New York has a lot of really weird bugs. We've seen some really strange bugs that we have definitely not seen before elsewhere Dude. in New York. I don't know what kind of like pheromones I'm putting off, but these daddy long legs love me. They're so weird. He'll like flick them off him and then they come right back. They come running back to me. It's so <laughs> Flick weird. it right back off and it's running in places that you don't want it to run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get out of here. We're hoping that it's going to cool down a bit um, soon. Apparently the weather is supposed to be nicer the next couple of days in the 70s instead of the 80s. But it's supposed to rain tonight, so we can't even leave our vestibule doors open. So we're just on top of our sleeping bags, not touching each other, hoping <laughs> that yeah. we won't wake up sweating in the middle of the night. Honestly, New York's been super beautiful and really awesome. Just so just hot. So hot. We bailed out yes early yesterday, and it was just insanely hot. So we're like, you know what? Let's just call it a day before I get injured and we pass out. <laughs> yeah, and I uh, got injured the day prior. Um, I had pulled something in my shin, and it was to the point where anytime I flexed my foot, it would um, just shoot pain up my leg. So. That slowed us way down yesterday, or day before yesterday, and then yesterday was insanely hot, and Longshanks' quad was acting up, and so we bailed out and went to Warwick earlier than we were planning to, but it worked out fine. Mm -hmm. Also, um, I've had a headache for the past, like, three days straight. You wake up with a headache, I go to bed with a headache, so the heat is not helping. Hopefully it'll pass, um, but if I don't feel any better by the time we hit Warwick again, um, I might hit an urgent care. Make sure I'm all good to go. Mm -hmm. Cause don't want to play with that out here. Illness and injury is the two things that are going to kick us off this trail and we take them pretty seriously. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we're not going to get kicked off trail. Yeah, not at all. No. Not at all. We ain't leaving. We ain't freaking leaving. <laughs> we're not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't do like anything today. Like five miles. It five was miles. Awesome. Yeah. Just Lungchings has not been getting very good sleep lately, and so this morning our alarm went off at 5:30, and or it was like six actually. It went off at six. Yeah, and he rolled over and he's like, "Hey, I really didn't sleep well. Do you mind if we keep sleeping?" And I was like, "No, that's fine." So we kept sleep sleeping, and then I looked at the clock when I woke back up and it was 8:30, and I was like, "Oh my so god, so late." <laughs> So late. Oh, it's so bad. We didn't even get out of camp until like 10.30, and then we immediately ran into a Sobo that we knew, and so we stopped there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> so we really didn't get out of camp until like 11. We didn't get like any miles in until like 11.30. We didn't get like any miles in at all. We just, we woke up late and we were like, you know what, let's just take a really easy day, appreciate the day, and... It was a beautiful day. It was a beautiful day. Finally, it wasn't so hot. Um, it rained like a teensy amount last night, not even enough to get our tent wet this morning. It was just perfect. Yeah, and brought down the cool weather. It was awesome. Yeah. Today so, was so worth it though. Worth it. It was such a nice day. Such a beautiful day. We just so hung out relaxing. in our tent and just like ate and chatted and napped and it was great. Laughed a lot. Laughed a lot. It Laughed was a, a good lot. day. It was cool. Lot, no miles today, but lots of smiles. Lots of smiles. Lots of smiles. So something interesting, especially about taking Nero's, is that um, at the end of a Nero, you're not super hungry like you are at the end of a regular hiking day, but you still need to eat the same amount of food that you would have if you hiked so that you have the fuel that you need for the next day. So I am just choking down this ramen, trying to eat it, because I'm not hungry and I don't feel like I need it, but I'm going to suffer for it if I don't eat it. Um, tomorrow I won't have the energy I need. Interesting thing about the trail is a lot of the time you're forcing down food that you don't necessarily want. Like me. Yeah. You don't want those potatoes? Um, uh-uh. <laughs> Get a selfie with the bear. He's, 
Yeah, he's, he's walking away from us, yeah. going around us. Uh-huh. I think he's more scared of us than we are of him. Oh, he scared me. Yeah, he scared we were, the shit out of us. We were talking, and I just I just looked up and went, oh, bear. <laughs> wow. What's up, buddy? Ooga booga booga. I did it. I did my ooga booga booga. <laughs> we saw our first bear. First bear. Not a, it's a... Looks like a teenager, maybe not a not a, an a, adolescent. An adolescent, <laughs> yeah. Teenager bear. Teenager bear. It wasn't a um, it wasn't a cub, but it wasn't an adult. Wow. Yeah, He's just moseying along the trail. Yeah. Not a big deal. Wow. That's cool. So cool. All right. Finally, we saw some wildlife. Our first bear. Woo. Ah! There's another one. Yeah, this guy walked right up on us. What do we do? Like just stand here and wait or just walk past him? Um, we should probably try and walk past him so like we don't bother him, he doesn't bother us. Probably. We should probably keep going. Yeah. Here, tap your tracking poles together. I'm taking a video. Okay, I'll stop the video. Yeah, keep just keep, keep walking and doing that. Walking off. Oh, we're good. Yeah. We're that was so cool. I looked up and I was like, oh, another one. <laughs> I caught the first one, you got the second one. Yeah, and I looked up and I was like, what's up, bear? And he like, looks up and was like, whoa. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? <laughs> and uh, I just sauntered off and yeah. I was tapping my poles. Cool. That was awesome. That was, that was awesome. Really cool. All right, so I'll have two bears today. Two bears. Not super sure why, but rock piles are a thing on the AT. They're everywhere. So uh, we're going to add our rocks to the pile. Got my little rock here. All right. I was looking for a bigger one, but they're all dug in. That's all right. Oh, uh, yeah. Any little rock will do. Look how big this pile of rocks is. That's all I'm bigger. I'll add my rock to the pile, too. <laughs> There was a little blue blaze trail up to a view. So we decided, ah, what the hey. We got up early today for once. We'll go check out this view. First view in New Jersey. New Jersey's pretty. Look at all those orange trees. The leaves are changing. The leaves are changing. Fall's coming. Fall is coming. The leaves are changing. We're in New Jersey. Today is awesome. We actually got out of camp at a decent hour. Lately we've been getting out at like 8.30. Um, but today we actually got out just a little bit after first light at like 6.40 in the morning. So 
we got ready in the dark, which we don't love, but I'm feeling really good about the fact that we got out of camp early today. Searching high and low for the treasure deep in your soul. The fortune tell is always right. Got them red eyes in the night. Like a panther out of sight. Gonna sing my battle cry. Cause I am the I am the I am the So we've gone 17 miles by 140 in the afternoon because we got out of bed at a reasonable hour today. Dude, I feel like my hair is starting to look like those bad little boy haircuts in the 70s. <laughs> like, <laughs> just kind of poofing out and doing whatever it wants. Almost oh well. Of a bowl cut. Yeah. yeah. Like a little, like shorter version of a bowl cut. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. So we got caught in a little bit of rain sprinkling on us right now. So we're hoping to make it into Unionville at the. Ooh, there's a cemetery. <laughs> um, <laughs> oopies candy. <laughs> oopies candy. Uh, we're trying to make it into the Unionville deli uh, to resupply and grab lunch because. I am very hungry. We did not stop for lunch because we figured we're so close to town, there's no point. And I'm gonna chow down on a deli sandwich. I don't know about you. Big old deli. I might get two. I might get one for lunch and one for dinner. Smart. Pack it out. Why not? Why Look not? at this cemetery. That's cool. It's so pretty. What? I'm Ram. a super weirdo. Island? Can't tell. Can't if it see. wasn't raining, I would make us stop. But it's raining, it so is. we don't have to stop. It's raining harder now. I'm gonna put my phone in a ziplock. Good morning. Good morning. So yesterday turned out to be an amazing day. We did 17 miles by what, like two? So 145. 145. So we killed it yesterday. Um, and we were planning on going another two to the secret shelter where a wild donkey named Jake hangs out. But um, it was raining and the two other hikers, Kid and um, Dalton, came up to the general store that we were hanging out at and they were like, so hear us out. There's four of us, we could split a hotel four ways. So we thought about doing that, but instead we ended up staying at a Trail Angel's house last night that happened to just be like right down the street from the general store that walking, we were staying at. Yeah, so, walking distance. Yeah, so it ended up being perfect. Hey buddy. Hey Jakey. Can you hold this? Get 
<laughs> well, that made my whole morning. <laughs> that was awesome. He was a super, super sweet donkey and very much so appreciated the apple that we brought him. He was super chill. Super chill. Yeah, he was really tame. Really tame. He didn't do anything, actually. He seemed like he was kind of old. Yeah, he's probably a little old guy. He had white in his face and stuff. Yeah. Aw, that was so great. We're showered, laundered, and we got to meet a donkey and get water out of a spigot that we didn't have to filter. So today's also, like the best morning ever. We also got egg bagel sandwiches. Yeah, we got breakfast sandwiches in town and coffee. We didn't have to cook or eat our trail food. It's like the best morning ever. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. And somebody uh, complimented you on your shorts. Oh my God, she said pull your pants down. I want to see what they are. <laughs> She didn't say pull your pants down. She had a, but she did go over and flip out the tag on the back of Long Shanks' shorts, which is funny because he does a pair underwear. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she wanted to get a pair for her guy. So, ladies, if you want to get yourself, your man, a uh, pair of track shorts like that, um, I can't remember the name of them, so this is unhelpful for you. We just saw our third bear. Third bear, and he was, he was fast. He was fast. I looked up, and he was standing in the trail with his back to me, looking back at me because he heard me before I saw him. And I just said, bear. And he went flying down the hill. Dude, like, as fast as a horse can run. Yeah. The guy was gone. Yeah, he was, he was quite fast. Yeah. He was, it wasn't uh, that loud either. Yeah, him running through the woods. I thought that it would be more like, you know, crashing through the woods. Not at all. It was just like, it was like you would imagine a, a deer running through the woods. Honestly, I think a deer is louder. Yeah, it was pretty quiet. Like, it was quiet enough that you could hear his thaws, his, his paws thumping against the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, cool. it was a really cool experience. Neat. Third bear. Third bear. We've seen three. I am the hunter. is the most welcome sight of the day when you can finally see the shelter that you've been walking toward all day. Whew. We pulled 20 miles today. The terrain was extremely rocky. We are really happy to be here. So we camped with a uh, just another uh, hiker last night. Uh, his trail name was Wagon. And he made a point that I thought was really interesting that I wanted to bring up on our vlog. So his trail name was Wagon because he brought in a wagon on the AT. Because he said all the videos of the trail that he's seen have been like really smooth, easy trail. And then he's like, well, I realized the reason that all those videos are of smooth, easy trail is because nobody can take videos when the trail is not smooth and easy. And I was like, that's a really good point. So I wanted to show you guys some of the terrain we've been going over. Extremely rocky. So here is what we are dealing with. And I will tell you that I trip probably, I don't know, upwards of 10 times every... Is that recording still? Yeah. Please tell me that's recording. <laughs> it's recording. What, a, what just happened? Ah, uh, you tripped hard, dude. <laughs> you tripped hard. Ah! Oh, coincidence. Oh, God. How do you like them apples? So I trip, like, probably upwards of 10 times every day, and I'm actually looking at my feet right now. Do you see that? I just tripped again. This is ridiculous. So the trail is not smooth and easy, especially not in New York and New Jersey. It's been very rocky. So we're coming for you, Pennsylvania. Even if the topograph says that it's flat, like yeah, the elevation change is flat, but the trail is still pretty rocky. And ankle busting. So here you can see again, it's all very rocky.
We are slack packing today. Only 10 miles too. Only 10 miles. We're slack packing and we're narrowing. It's a good day. And this is our last look at New Jersey. Because well, we're going to get a defensive aid today. Pennsylvania today. PA, we're coming for you. <laughs> Eight states? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Hi, kid. What up, kid? <laughs> Kids oh, no. slack packing with us today too. Pennsylvania it is noon and what we can only assume is a church is making that chiming in the background Church of the Mountain that's where we're gonna be staying it's donation based they have a three dollar suggested donation per person totally affordable so we're gonna be staying there we're gonna hit the post office tomorrow morning and then head out and start on Roxylvania. We're very excited. I can't believe we've made it this far. I'm uh, ecstatic. 